Hi guys, it's John Olympian Exotics here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a kind of scientific study on the effectivity of the no mess fogger for roaches. It kills roaches, it kills all sorts of insects here, supposedly. So I read some reviews online that said it does not kill German roaches. So we're going to try one can in an enclosed area about um, probably 10 by 10. I think I might do it in the shed or something like that. Um, and we're going to experiment on this bin that used to have discoid roaches in it. So I pulled out what was left of my discoid roaches and you can see that it's been overtaken by Germans. So the Germans just reproduce so much better than the uh, discoids and they are, I think they might even like eat my discoids eggs and stuff like that and just like they're just destroying the reproductivity of the discoid colony so I'm going to bomb them so I also left the water source in here so this is some cocoa chip with water in it so that way the roaches can go and drink out of it and then I had some old dog food in there and some like random like bananas and stuff I took the bananas out because I gave them to my discoid so that way they can be happy so if you guys want to learn something this is a discoid roach baby this is a German roach. So you see how the German roaches are more brown and longer. These are adult German roaches right here. Where are you? There you go. And then the babies have a bunch of different stages, but you can see they're pretty distinctly different. Um, they are like black with like a brown stripe, and then there's a the juvenile stage right there. It's like black and brown. So the discoids are, hmm? Yeah, so this is a female with egg case right there. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set off this no mess fogger directly over top of this bin because if it doesn't work at this at this uh, degree of closeness, then I'm gonna say it definitely doesn't work. Um, what I'm gonna do is put this lid basically across like this, so that way there still is airflow from the sides, but that way I can get the fogger to be pretty close to this and in it like and still right next to it so there's still airflow into it so that kind of illustrates like being in a drawer or underneath a bed or something like that where it's not getting direct exposure to the fog from like the fog actually hitting it immediately but still directly in the vicinity and like a relatively like normal place where a roach would be so we're gonna test this out and I'm thinking I think I'm gonna do it in the shed because I have a little shed outside so that we don't have to worry about clearing out a 10 by 10 foot room and that'll that's only like six by eight feet so six by eight feet is well under the uh, necessary in size of enclosed space because it's, it's on the bottle or on the cans I mean it says it's supposed to be 15 by 16 feet is roughly the maximum size for the enclosed area so six by eight feet is like a quarter of that maybe so it should definitely be concentrated enough um, and it says to let it go off for two hours without anybody around and then you're supposed to let it air out for two hours and then we'll reevaluate. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started and then I'll keep you informed with a second part to this video. Hey guys, it's John Olympian Exotics here. So we waited overnight and as you can see, we just had, this is what we used, the no mess fogger odor neutralizer. It literally says on the box that ro it does work on roaches. And as you can see, we got a couple dead ones right here. A few on the lid are dead, right? Okay, and let's look inside of the container. So, you can see, there's still some alive. These are all unaffected. They're all running around. See, they're all fine. Still very alert and active. I think it had very little effect on the German roaches. As you can see, they're still. Well, obviously, some of them got out of the bin because I didn't have the lid on there. That's why I made sure to do this outside. But you can see there's like almost no effect. So I would say that this no mess fogger is highly ineffective on German roaches. As you can see, they're all very much alert and alive. 
So I guess we're not going to go through this. The reason why I was doing this is because I wanted to treat my house. Uh, but I have a ton of reptiles in the house, obviously, and animals of other kinds. And I would have to move all of the animals out of my house to treat with this fogging method. But I didn't want to put go through all that effort if it wasn't even going to kill the roaches, which is the thing that I wanted it to kill. So, I'm glad I didn't go through the effort. I did waste $4 on that little can, so I'm going to try to return that stuff to Walmart since it did not work. Um, and I still have two more cans in there. I actually bought two boxes of it just because I needed a bunch to if I was going to do this for the house. So, I'm definitely going to have to scrub this bin because I have a feeling that discoid roaches may not be... Uh, as resistant to chemicals as the Germans are, but um, I'm really glad I did this test test uh, design rather than do my whole house and move like literally hundreds of animals out of my house um, for a period just to have it not work plus waste money. So if you're treating German roaches, do not use this. I've heard that it kills a lot of other stuff like flies and other bugs and stuff like that, especially fruit flies and gnats and all like you know other stuff. But roaches are a whole different beast. So, do not use this for German roaches. And that is my completed review of this stuff.